Parts of Mesa and Gilbert dealing with massive storm damage days after a monsoon storm swept through that area. And some lost power for hours. Now they're working to clean up the mess left behind. Fox 10's Irene Snyder joins us live with the latest. You've been in that area for most of the day. A lot of people are still really kind of battling with the aftermath. Well, John and Christina, yeah, that's absolutely right. It's been two days, nearly two days since that storm ripped through this area. People have been out here all day, still plenty of damage. You can take a look behind me. This tree, as you can see, was completely uprooted. And if you look to the right of the tree, there's a car here. The windshield completely, uh, completely ruined, as well as the roof is just caved in. We spoke with so many people out here who said they're just doing their best to try and clean this all up as quickly as possible. Dozens of trees ripped from their roots in this Gilbert neighborhood at Lindsay and Baseline. Really loud bang and then the power went out. Um, my husband saw furniture and things just flying past the window and um, yeah, and then our neighbor called us and said, oh my gosh, your tree just fell down. The couple's 40 year old pine tree fell down, hitting their friend's truck parked across the street. Um, so it's completely destroyed our front yard and it fell on a truck and so it was, um, <laughs> it was pretty devastating. Right down the road, Michael Graham is out clearing branches and fallen trees from his yard. One eucalyptus tree that fell between the garage and the house, um, it didn't do any property damage other than just uh, to the area on the ground. Uh, we cut that up with the chainsaw, put it out to the street. A couple miles from this neighborhood at American Speed Wash in Mesa, surveillance video shows heavy wind and rain tearing at the building. A shade structure ripped from its foundation. I mean, it was crazy. We have some surveillance footage that just showed it just being flipped upside down. Um, and, you know, the, the people that are coming out said that it's just insane that it's been 40 years and it hasn't happened before. So it had to have been like a mini microburst or tornado. Even with the damage, they were able to stay open. And thankfully, they have plenty of community support. The community has been rallying behind us. We're doing lots of car washes and uh, everyone's coming to take a look at it. And there still is plenty of damage out here, even after people have been out here all day. They say they are very grateful for all that community support, the people that have come together, even from out of town, to help them. Reporting live in Gilbert, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.